Welcome to the video presentation on grouped frequency distribution. Now, in our previous video tutorial, we discussed about frequency distribution table. If you haven't watched that video tutorial, then you can watch it by going to the video link in the description box below. Please watch that tutorial first so that you can connect between what we have discussed there and what we are going to discuss here because there is a connection between the two topics that is between the frequency distribution table and the grouped frequency distribution. Now, I assume that you have watched that one. In that tutorial, we took this example where we had four entries, mathematics, English, science, and social science. Now, for these four entries, we have, we made a frequency distribution table using tally marks, something like this. Now, this concept of frequency distribution table fails when the number of entries or observations is too large, like what we are going to discuss now. Here, we have 45 observations and these observations tell us 45, the ages of 45 teachers of a school starting from serial number 1 up to serial number 45 we have these ages of 45 teachers now of course this data is not very well organized and neither you can conclude anything from this data so we use the concept of grouped frequency distribution because now here we can see that we have made certain groups like the minimum age in this data is 21 and the max age is 60. So what we have done is starting from the age 20 and then 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35 and so on and starting from 20 up to 60 we have made eight such groups and that is why we call it grouped frequency distribution because we have several groups here. We have divided it. Now each of these groups, like each of these groups is called class interval, is called class interval. And in case, in each class interval, you will have the upper limit, the upper limit of that class interval, and you will have the lower limit okay the difference between upper limit the difference between upper limit and lower limit is the width or the size of the class enter. Like in this case, it is 25 minus 20, you get 5. 30 minus 25, you get 5. 35 minus 30, you get 5. So in this example, each class interval has the width of 5. Now, if you're wondering, if you're wondering, if you wonder why do we have this concept of width and size, then let me tell you that the first step to make a histogram, the first step to make a histogram is, is to form a group frequency distribution. That is the first step. And we'll learn more about histogram in our next video tutorial. So, there we use this concept of width and size when we have to form a histogram. Okay, now. Here, this is 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35. Now let's begin making tally marks. I'll make for a few and then we'll pause the video and we'll fill this up and then we'll continue our discussion. So this is 22. I assume that you know how to make tally marks. This is 22. So under which group or class interval will this fall? This will fall under 20 to 25. So this is 22. 
so one tally mark this is 26 so it will come under this in uh, class interval we mark this one this is 25 okay now one question should come to your mind that we have 25 here and we have 25 here so under which class interval or group will this 25 fall or come so the answer is always take the observation or the entry if that is the upper limit always take in the higher class interval like this is 20 to 25 the upper limit is 25 but this upper limit is the lower limit of this class interval that is 25 to 30 this is the higher class interval from this one this 25 if any observation or entry comes that is 25 that will fall under 25 to 30 same thing for 30 like here you can see here in this class interval 30 is here and 30 is here so suppose when this 30 comes under which class interval or group it should fall it will fall here always go for the higher class interval right always go for the higher class interval okay so since we have 25 here it will come here in this class interval 25 to 30 then we have 35 here it will again since this is 35 so it will go to this class interval right 35 is here then we have 33 it will come here then we have 30 it will come again here again we have 30 so it will come here let me mark up to here so that we do not get confused okay then we have 36 so 36 will come here we have 40 so 40 will come here not here but here we have 45 so 45 will come here we have 54 54 will come here we have 53 so 53 is here now i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to fill this tally marks column and then we'll continue the discussion so i have filled this column of tally marks completely and we have you know covered all these 45 entries now this number of teachers like the number of teachers that fall under this group that is the class interval of 20 to 25 is 2 so let's write 2 here the number of teachers that fall under this category uh, group or class interval that is 25 to 30 is 5 plus 1 6 in this case it is 5 plus 1 6 this is 5 this is 6 this is 4 this is 5 plus 5 10 plus 1 is 11 and this is again 5 right so maximum number of teachers in this school fall under the class interval 50 to 55 that is maximum number of teachers are have age between 50 to 55 right and this column number of teachers is actually frequency it tells us the frequency that is what is the frequency of teachers that fall under this group 50 to 55 the, the answer is 11 what is the frequency of the number of teachers that fall under this class interval that is 20 to 25 it is 2 and so on and so forth now which age group is the like contains the least number of teachers then that is here 2 and the max one is for 11 in the next video tutorial we'll discuss about histogram because the first step for histogram is to understand uh, is to form group frequency distribution